Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, MTK Global, delighted to be joined by Mr. Lee Wood. How are you, mate? Fantastic, thanks. A uh, bit hungry, but fight week, innit? All the, all the little bits and bobs you have to go through. I was going to say, this is a little bit more importantly, sorry to break it too. Um, you are an adopted Essex boy now, of course, training with Mr. Davison down in Harlow, and you've got the perm to match as well. You are like a teenage Essex boy. <laughs> <laughs> on, your, on your way in, they pull you over and uh, they do that to you, and they slap a Rolex on you and a shirt, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> skinny jeans and loafers on. Um, before we talk about this Saturday, I do want to reflect on probably something you don't want to reflect on, if I'm honest, but the last time I saw you was obviously that night in the Golden Contract semi-final. And I remember one thing you said to me was that the better man beat me on the night, no excuses. Um, not Did it make it easier, but obviously it's been a tough year, but did it make it easier to know that perhaps that night it wasn't your fault, you just wasn't good enough, if that's a fair assessment? Yeah, that's the kind of thing, I'm not firing at all. I want Fire and I want at my best. And he was probably better than we have seen him in recent years as well. So it kind of, uh, them two met and uh, yeah, I got, I got beat by the better man on the night and um, no excuses. Well, I lost on a split to a good kid who's fighting for a world title next on a bad night. So um, you can see like, when I've got it right, it would have been a different fight. But like you say, you can't dwell on it. You can't make excuses. You just got to make sure your next performance is a good one. And that's uh, Saturday night. Is that what sort of spun your mind to make the change and, and go with Ben? Just feel like freshen it up a bit. And obviously, I know I've heard Ben say that you've got characteristics you need to unlock and unleash. Um, but was that result sort of the turning point for you, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. I mean, at first, I didn't think about changing because you don't want to sit back and think, right, who can I point blame at? You know, as a fighter, you have to take responsibility. And I know why I didn't perform. Um, so it's down to me to get it right next time out, like I said. Well, next time out is... Saturday night. Um, you fell short seven years ago. Does that feel like a long seven years? It, it, I mean, it feels like when I was watching it, and obviously I've grown up in that period, but it must feel like God, a whirlwind ago. Yeah, it, was a, it seemed like a long time ago. And again, I didn't point fingers, I didn't blame, I didn't move come, you know. I just kind of reassessed and looked at where I went wrong. The weight was a big factor that night, but, you know, I gained some more experience as well, which uh, still stands me in good stead today. You know, you can have all the skills in the fight, but you need to Make sure you pace yourself as well. This is the experience I've got, what Reese hasn't got, you know. I've been there, I've done it. I've been in with fighters that are good over the distance. I've been in with fighters that come out for start fast and all these things I've I've got in my locker ready for Saturday night and it's because of the uh, the times that I went through and I learned the hardest way. Does this take on the narrative of quite a typical British title fight, someone who's been at that level, fought at that level and most people would probably see you above the domestic scene and then you've got someone who's trying to break in, trying to get his break out? Breakout win. Yeah, definitely. He's coming to make a name for himself. Um, and I've seen him in a few interviews mention me saying I've been disrespectful. I haven't been disrespectful. I've just said, look, I'm coming to win and I'm winning and I'm better than you. And that's basically what it is. Whereas he feels like I've not gave him no credit. And I think he's more coming to get credit and get a, like, a pat on the back of everyone to, to remember his name and kind of trying to establish himself. That's where I think we're different. And I know you've said that you feel like his skill set's basic, good at the fundamentals, but basic. And I suppose you mean basic to the point where you can find him out and exploit him on that front. Yeah, I mean, if you look at his fights from what we've got, what footage we have got, I mean, he doesn't really change. They're all very similar. He's got shots that he likes to set up, shots that he likes to throw. They don't really change. Um, but he's strong, he's solid, and he's definitely uh, going to be a threat on Saturday night, and he's, he's dangerous. So I've got to be careful, and I've got to make sure I'm sharp. And... Um, the things were way different. Like he comes the same all the time, and I've the scene of a fight after fight. If you watch the whale fight, I was I was cautious and moving and picking shots. If you look at the Glover fight, I was explosive. If you look at different fights, I can adapt to what's in front of me, and that's going to be very important. Obviously, moving camp. I'm in a short period with Ben, but I am very adaptable, and um, that's going to be the key to victory on Saturday night. Is it also a big night for you? And is every night now a big night for you? Because if we're being brutally honest, you it's could be one night. defeat away from your career slipping completely down the pan to the point where you might have to pack it in because you ain't a draw anymore. Does that make sense? Yeah, I understand what people say. I think when I was coming through the Ingalls, Brendan used to always say, like, you're only as good as your last fight, which sounds a bit brutal because my last fight was shit, but <laughs> you're only as good as your last fight, but you're only one one fight away from being the best thing since I sliced bread. Everyone gets beat, everyone gets disregarded, which is quite good in a sense as you get overlooked. But um, yeah, you, you one fight away, one good for, one good performance from being um, the best thing since last play again. And you know, Saturday night, I'm going to perform and look good and get myself back into the mix with the the names in around world title level. Yeah, I was going to say because not many people jump from 
British, it's a world title level, but are you above British level? I mean, let's I'm be honest. It, yeah, you're above domestic level. Look at when I boxed for the Commonwealth and then defended it around that level, it was a bit of a breeze. Um, obviously, I think this is the, a similar level, but I think obviously it's going to be a, probably a little bit harder fight because he's hungry, he's unbeaten. You don't want to let that go. And I've been there before with Joyce. You know, he uh, he poured his whole heart and soul into that fight, and um, I'm expecting a hard fight, but one I'm more than capable of of uh, putting him in his box and, and beating him. So, do you keep your eyes peeled as well for the main event, Josh, in your division as well? Um, Jazz, like we said, fighting for a vacant world title against Kid Gala. How are you keeping your eyes peeled on that scene at all? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I've travelled up to Leeds numerous times to watch Josh. Um, I expected to cross paths with him before. Um, before, obviously, then obviously what's happened with COVID and getting beat in the corner contract. But yeah, I'll be keeping my eyes on him because I'm sure it's a fight that um, will happen in the future. Are you sort of praying that Jazza maybe picks up a vacant belt and then, I don't know, we try and build storylines, I suppose, you and Jazza rematch for a belt? I don't know. I'm just concentrating on myself on Saturday night and then um, see where see what happens with the rest of the results and um, we'll go from there. And just finally, I know you're going to tell me you're going to get your hand raised, but... Ben said you're punching through people now. You're not just punching them, you're punching through them. Um, what round do you think you stop, Reese? <laughs> I think, um, for me, I think round nine and ten is a really good popular round for myself. So I won't be surprised if it goes that far. Uh, if it can hold on that long, I think it will be around that time.